That is how the community felt when the newest Falcon 4TB model came out and immediately became the top model on the Open LLM leaderboard. Hello humans, my name is Keio Evolod and today, oh boy, another day, another new model. Because today we're gonna be taking a look at Falcon, the newest LLM model that is apparently now the current LLM king on the Open LLM leaderboard. So in this video, let's see what makes this model so special and check how good it actually is. So as always, sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready and Let's go. So, Falcon 4TB, a 40 billion parameters model trained on 1 trillion tokens on the refined web dataset by the Technology Innovation Institute of the UAE. And it is now currently the most powerful model on the Open LLM leaderboard, surpassing pretty much any model using the Llama architecture. Now, there was also another Falcon model that was released, which is the Falcon 7B model, which is a way smaller 7 billion parameters model trained on 1.5 billion tokens and that can apparently outperform comparable open source models such as MPT7B or Stable LM, which uh, to be honest uh, is not really difficult because uh, Stable LM was an absolute disaster. Now the reason why the Falcon model is so special, apart the fact that it is a huge 40 billion parameters model, is the fact that this model was only trained using 75% of the compute power of GPT-3. Now not only the architecture of Falcon was optimized for performance and efficiency, the team claims that Falcon also matches the performance performance of order LLMs from DeepMind, Google and Anthropic. And what's also really cool is that Falcon was trained on a bunch of different languages other than English, such as German, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Polish, Dutch, Romanian, Czech and Swedish. So now I'm really hoping that Falcon will be able to translate my legendary sentence correctly. Now one small issue there is about this model is the fact that although they say here that it is available for commercial use, when you actually look at the details, it says that you can use the models for research and personal use and to share and build derivative on these models as long as you give attribution, but for commercial use, you can use that model and you don't have to pay anything as long as your revenues are inferior to $1 million per year. Otherwise, you need to enter in a commercial agreement with the Technology in Innovation Institute. So, I mean, basically you can use it for commercial use, but at the same time, you can't really make more than a million a year. Otherwise, you're gonna have to pay. So, I mean, you know. Okay, so now we'd like to see how good this model actually is. I'm really interested in trying it out, but unfortunately, as of right now, technically it doesn't really work with the Uba Booga Tech Generation Web UI. Because the Falcon model is based on a completely different architecture from any other models released, the Web UI needs to be updated so that you can run the model. And as of right now, as I'm making this video, it is not updated. However, no worries because there is already some people on the case, and I think that by the time this video comes out, the Web UI will already be updated. And also another problem is the fact that a 40 billion parameters model will not fit on my 3090. I mean this is the Guanaco model all over again. But of course, your lovely AI overlord is here to save the day. Because by simply renting a GPU on a website like Rumpod, we can solve every issue. And I'm gonna show you how. Now I made a video about this on Friday, on how to install the web UI on the cloud, using Rumpod and the Google Colab doc. And technically what I'm gonna show you right now is not really something that you need to use, because as I said, in a few hours the web UI would already be updated. But if you really want to try it out right now, I'm gonna show you how. And it's really not that difficult. Now first what I'm gonna do is rent a 48GB VRAM GPU. For example, I'm gonna choose the RTX A6000. So I'm gonna click on deploy. And here I'm gonna select the Rumpod PyTorch 2 for the template. No need to choose any other templates, because we're gonna be installing the web UI from scratch. So then you're gonna click on edit template, change the container disk from 20 to something like 50GB, then click OK, then click continue and click on deploy. And now if we go to my pods, after a few seconds, my pod is now ready to be used. So now if I click on connect, start web terminal, then connect to web terminal, and now we get this command prompt window where we're gonna install the web UI. But here we're not gonna be installing the original text generation web UI from Uba Booga. No, 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 no. We're gonna be installing this updated fork, which actually contains all the modifier files that it needs to run the Falcon model. So I'm gonna come here, click to copy the name. In my command prompt window, I'm gonna type git clone and then the name of the repo, press enter, then I'm going inside that folder, install the requirements, then I'm gonna use these commands to install auto gptq, so now we're gonna go back to the tech generation web UI folder and now we can launch the web UI. And of course if you want to do the same, all the commands will be in the description down below. So for each line just copy and paste them inside the web terminal. 
And at the end, if everything is done correctly, you should have a public URL that if you click on it, will give you the updated wave UI. But now we need to download the Falcon model. And of course for this, we're going to be using the model provided by the user called the bloke, just like always. So here I'm going to click this icon to copy this entire name. Under the load custom model and LoRa, I'm going to paste it and then click download. Now while the model is downloading, we need to modify a file. So for this, you're going to click on connect to JupyterLab, go back to the main folder, go to take generation web UI, mode modules, and then double click on auto GPTQ. And then on line 37, you're gonna press enter and paste this line of code. And you can then press ctrl s to save the file. And there you go, and now to load the model, I'm gonna uncheck auto load the model, refresh the list, choose the Falcon 4 TV, make sure that auto devices, VF16 and trust remote code are checked, and that there is no arguments for GPTQ, and then click on load the model. And there you go, finally the Falcon 4 TV model is ready to be used. Okay, so finally, let's see how good that model actually is. So again, I'm not going to spend like too much time. I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly just to see the quality of the model. However, there is one big problem and that is the fact that as of right now, the generation is really, really, really slow. Because uh, for example, if I type something like write me a short poem about summer and I click on generate, you'll see that it will start typing very, very slowly. I mean, this is like, like, yeah, this is really, really slow. Like it is almost unusable as of right now. Now, I don't know if this is a problem with the model or the wave UI. So for this video, I'm gonna try to keep the answer short because otherwise tomorrow I will still be there waiting for the answer. And we got something like this. Summer is the time for fun in the sun with beaches, barbecues, and ice cream cones. The days are long and warm and there is no need to run. Just relax and enjoy the season of June. So I mean I could have asked the poem to rhyme a little bit so that it's a little bit more fun to read but I mean the final result is not that bad. Now I'm gonna immediately start with the translation exercise. I am really curious to see if Falcon is really that good with different languages. So now of course if I ask my legendary sentence, translate this sentence from English to French. Are you crazy? It's too hot outside. I don't want any soup. I would rather eat something cold like ice cream. So now if I click on generate and we got this which is simply the best translation I have ever had. That's right, this is really a perfect translation. Now the only thing is that it did not really respect the punctuation, but other than that, this is a perfect translation. This is really really good. I'm actually interested in trying something else. So how about translating this sentence from English to French? Bro, this model is crazy, yo. Can't believe the translation is actually so good. Now try to translate that, you nerd. Which I'm actually really surprised to see what kind of results we will get with this. So now if I click on generate, and we got this, which is really, really good. Like I can't believe it actually did it. Now what's actually really interesting is that the last sentence is not really translated word by word. Because instead of saying try to translate that, you nerd, it basically says now try to do the same you nerd which is basically the same meaning but written differently and of course since there are no real translation for nerd in French the whole sentence is actually correct so yeah finally I think we finally got a model just like the Guanaco model that can correctly translate English to French so yeah this is really good I'm really happy with that okay so now let's see if that model is also as good when it comes to math so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the same question like always which is solve the equation 2x minus 12 equals minus 16. And if I click on generate, and here we got an incorrect answer because indeed the solution should be minus 2 and not 2. So yeah, it looks like unfortunately the Falcon model is really not that good when it comes to math. Now I don't know if this is a problem with the training data set because indeed when you look at the data source, I don't think there is a lot of information about math solution problems. So yeah, when it comes to translation, it is really good, but not really when it comes to math. However, since there is like 5% of code, I'm hoping that maybe it will do better with coding questions. So now if I ask something like, write me the code for an HTML page with a button that when pressed changes the background to a random color. Pretty much the same question that I ask every model. So now if I click on generate, okay, oh my god, this took such a long time to generate. I mean, for the amount of time it took to generate this entire code, I had time to get married and have 5 kids. So, geez, yeah. Falcon is really super, super slow. 
but at least we got something that looks pretty good, very detailed code. So now if I copy it, then paste it inside an HTML file, and now if I run it, we get something like this with a change background color button that if I press on it, does indeed change the background to a random color. Whoa, so I'm happy. At least I did not wait for nothing. This is really cool. So yeah, this is really good. It looks like the Falcon model is also really good at coding. So yeah, I was right, those 5% of code in the dataset really did a difference. I am really happy to see that. And finally, of course, for the last test, you knew it was also coming, we need to check if that model is also censored. Which, to be honest, I think it probably is. So if I ask something like, how to build an illegal device? that again I'm not gonna see on YouTube, and if I click on generate, and of course as I suspected, we get the very famous I'm sorry but as a language model I cannot answer your question, blah 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 blah. So yeah, I'm not really surprised by that result, I was really kinda expecting it to be honest. I personally really cannot understand what's up with these companies that don't want to create uncensored models, but I mean it is what it is. At least when it comes to everything else, the Falcon model is actually really really powerful, so you know that's pretty good. So yeah, there you go, this was the Falcon 40 billion parameter model. A very impressive, although limited model, that is really good at coding and translating other languages. And although it is not really good at math, it is certainly very good for everything else. As long as that everything else is not sexy roleplay. So yeah, there you go. Pretty impressive model, with a pretty impressive size, that I think really deserves to be on the OpenLLM leaderboard. Although, the Guanaco model that I showed you yesterday should probably also be on the list. So here's hoping we get more uncertain models in the future with that level of quality. And if you know the open source community, I think that we will very soon. I really cannot wait. And there we are it folks, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome, you people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.